It is Sunday, um, a little after 11 a.m., and I am currently sitting in the parking lot of my work. Why am I here on a Sunday, you ask? Well, after the last video that I posted where I was leaving here on Friday and felt like complete crap, one of the things that was bothering me, or that continued to bother me after the video was made, was just how I was feeling about work. My dread of coming back here, knowing that I have to face a situation that I don't think I'm capable of facing. Now, I think I need to clarify some of the things that I had said in that last video because it seems like, although you've all given me a pretty positive feedback and, you know, try to be helpful and supportive, I think that there was a miscommunication of ideas, at least in terms of how I was telling you about what I was feeling. A lot of people were saying things about how there are people out there that all hate their job and they all feel frustrated. And I understand that. And if it was just a matter of hating my job and feeling frustrated because I hate my job, that'd be one thing. But my concern is that I'm not capable of doing my job anymore. That um, there are issues that are coming up that I'm being faced with that I don't have the first idea of how to troubleshoot, of how to tr how to resolve. So what I've decided to do to try and rectify this, and that's the reason why I'm here today, at least in the parking lot of my work, was to sit down with some of the tickets that I have in my queue currently and step by step go over them and see what it is that I'm not understanding or what it is that I feel that I'm, I'm failing at. Now, I went back up there and I looked at a couple of tickets that were frustrating me on Friday and they weren't as bad as they had been when I looked at them originally. So what I did was I sat down, I reread what the customer had said, I reread what I had said, made sure that I understood exactly what was being said, and then addressed the next part of the exchange appropriately. That was my whole idea of coming in today, was to basically just sit down with these tickets and step by step, pick them apart, try to understand what parts that I don't understand, at least in terms of getting an idea of the scope of the area that I'm not familiar with, so that when Monday rolls around and I come in, I know exactly where I need to start looking, I know exactly what questions I need to ask. Now, granted, because the tickets that I was dealing with today, excuse me, <gasps> were ones that were already well into the middle of, of trying to troubleshoot them. A lot of what I had to go over um, was stuff that I, I couldn't uh, try to troubleshoot even if I wanted to because it were at, it's at a point in the tickets where it isn't troubleshooting, it's discussing the fact that the previous troubleshooting incident didn't resolve the problem. So, you know, um, Basically, the, the end, at the end of the day, the whole purpose of me being here was to just sit down with these things and try to get some of the dread out of my system so that when I come in tomorrow, I'm not completely overwhelmed, you know. So I did about, I think, I don't know, 10 tickets total, uh, 10 or 12 tickets, and I didn't send any of them because I don't want them to receive messages from me on Sunday, so tomorrow morning when I come in, I'll just hit send on all of them and send out a cluster of those tickets all at one shot. But uh, I'm getting off point. The issue that I have is not that I'm frustrated with my job because it's hard. I'm frustrated because I feel incompetent. I feel like I can't do this job anymore. I feel like I don't have the skill set necessary to do this job anymore. After the interview that I had on Friday morning where the guy asked me some basic questions and it was very apparent that my skill knowledge has left me. Things that I had done in the past that this job specifically was requesting for that I knew in the past that I have done successfully and I should know how to do today. I didn't. I was stammering when he asked me three basic questions. The first one I was able to answer somewhat well. The second one was a circumstance that just made no sense to me. And the third one, I didn't know the procedure. So, with that in mind, looking at the life that I'm living now, the only way for me to continue to pay my bills is to continue to work this job. With that in mind, feeling A, that I'm trapped here because of that reality, and B, now that I'm dealing with situations that seem to be outside of my scope, excuse me, I don't know why I keep yawning, because I'm dealing with situations outside of my scope, that tells me that I may not even be able to keep this job. So that's what I'm facing, at least in terms of that's what I was facing on Friday, was just the reality of I can't leave this place and I don't even know if I'm going to be able to stay at the place I don't want to be at, you know? 
And that's frustrating for me. Some of you had asked me if it was possible for me to get an education to help me better do this job. No. These are the, you know, this, this is stuff that you're supposed to learn as you're working here. I can't go to school and learn the stuff that I'm learning now. Or that I'm supposed to know now. Troubleshooting is not the issue. Knowing the process for troubleshooting is not the issue. Understanding what you're supposed to do with that troubleshooting information is, and I don't know why I keep yawning. That's like, what, the 17th time I've yawned in this video? And going to school to get a different skill set so that I can go and get a different job means that I need to have a job that I can maintain while going to school. If I can't keep this job, then once again, I'm back at square one. Now, when I was unemployed, that was one of the things that people had asked me, well, why don't you go to school? Why don't you get some an education? Because the, the system that they have here in California, as I understand it, wouldn't allow me to go to school and collect unemployment. I need to be spending, ah, uh, there we go again, I need to be spending, I don't know, like, 40 hours a week looking for work. I cannot spend that time so doing something else. Otherwise, I'm no longer uh, eligible for unemployment. So going to get, going to school, or looking for, you know, go, if going to school would interfere with me looking for employment, I no longer can collect unemployment. So, I can't go to school even in that regard. So that was what was up on Friday. And some of you were concerned about the statements I had made in regards to uh, suicide. Now, I'll admit that I do get depressed. And I'll admit, while in those depressive state of minds, the idea of potentially putting a bullet into my head isn't so repulsive. But I don't think that I'll ever be able to do it, regardless of how fucked up my life gets, for the simple fact that I don't want to hurt other people, and I know that by killing myself, I would be. The motivation isn't whether or not I continue to live. The, motion, the motivation isn't whether or not I continue to fight the good fight. But the idea of what it would do to my mother is more than I can bear. You know, the idea of hurting my mother like that, I couldn't do that to her. Some of you have said that depression makes everything look bleak. And I don't know where I'm going to be in, in, in a year. I don't know where I'm going to be in six months. I don't know where I'm going to be tomorrow. And that's supposed to be a positive, apparently, uh, that I don't know where I'm going to be tomorrow. That I don't know where I'm going to be in six months. That's supposed to build hope. Because it's not always going to be this way. But I don't know that. I don't know that it's not going to always be this way. I also know that people have said that, you know, everybody hates their job. But of those people that hate their job, I wonder how many of them are stuck doing something and being incompetent while doing it. Because that's where my hate for my job comes from. Yes, it's repetitive. Yes, it's annoying. Yes, I deal with customers all day that drive me insane. But... At least I would be able to do the job, so that the frustrations I have would just be dealing with, you know, dealing with the aggravated people on the phone. Not dealing with the aggravated people on the phone and me not being able to give them the correct information to solve the problem. So, that was what was up with Friday, just where my head was. Dealing with, um... The idea that I'm, I'm in a situation. The only positive that I can think of, if you can call this a positive, is that if I do get fired from this job because I can't do it anymore, I looked up in California law to see if it was possible for me to collect unemployment after being fired. If um, it's possible for me to be able to, to um, be... Uh, acceptable for unemployment and from what I've read if you are fired but it's not for something like stealing from the company or you know hitting your boss in the face or something like that that you're deemed what was the terminology they used that you're not deemed a good fit for the position and it makes you eligible for unemployment so 
And even with the amount of money that you collect on unemployment, though it would be a slash to the amount of money that I make now, it would be enough for me to pay my rent and pay my bills and have just enough money, just barely enough money for everything else. I may have to start skimping on some things, but that's the only positive that I can find in this situation. I have a meeting with my boss on Monday, so tomorrow, at the end of the day, because I sent him an email. Every time I start feeling incompetent, every time I start feeling um, that there might be something wrong with my performance, I'm the one that approaches my bosses. I'm proactive that way. If I feel that my, my performance is somehow lacking, and I've done this several times since I've been here, I approach them and say, this is what I'm seeing with my performance, this is how I'm, I'm feeling about how I'm performing. I just wanted you to be aware that I am aware of these things, and I'm working to try and correct them. So we'll see what happens when I have the meeting at the end of the day tomorrow. But that's pretty much it. You know, this state of being that I'm in, this, this reality of the world that I live in right now, was one of the biggest factors as to why I stopped doing this, why I stopped making these videos. Because after putting up four or five or six or seven or eight or 150 of these fucking things, and it becomes more and more dour each time. What's the point? What's the point in, in doing this and turning to you and saying, "Oh, and here's today's set of problems," you know? So um, that's it, really. Just wanted to give a clarification for uh, Friday and where my head is.